Visit goldeneraabookworm.wixsite.com forward slash website for courses from the bronze and silver era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I would like to focus on a long lost silver era exercise known as the bent arm pullover, which has in recent times been replaced by the machine version after inventor Arthur Jones created the Nautilus machine. Um, although the machine version is excellent at targeting the lats, as used more recently by Dorian Yates, six-time Mr. Olympia, as well as uh, more previous to him, Mike Mensa, I'd like to focus on the original free weight version, which was used back in the bronze and silver eras and was both a mass builder of the upper body as well as uh, used for displaying um, strength. So it was actually used as a feat of strength as displayed here, where this guy looks like he's lifting about 400 pounds. I'd have to check that. But Jesus Christ, it was definitely used as a feat of strength. And um, I'm going to expand on that later. Now, if we look at the history of the bent arm barbell pullover, we have to actually go all the way back to the Bronze Era. Alan Calvert, the founder of the Milo Barbell Company, which I've covered in a previous uh, evolution of bodybuilding video linked above, um, stated once that the bent arm barbell pullover was the best exercise for developing a deep chest. Now, uh, after him, just at the beginning of the silver era came Mark Berry, who uh, created the 20 rep squat program in combination with pullovers and milk. So the combination of performing the 20 rep squat, the barbell pullover and drinking loads and loads of milk created the Herculean physique and the rise of the silver era. Literally, this program sprouted Herculean physiques everywhere. And um, it is the practice of these methods, specifically the bent arm uh, barbell pullover, that used in the silver era that I wish to expand on now. Now when you compare the heavy barbell pullover to the machine version of the pullover, yes the machine pullover does target the latissimus a lot more. And this is why a lot of people go, oh, in general when, they, when you mention the pullover people say it only targets the lats. But this is incorrect. When you consider the heavy barbell pullover, which is a compound free weight exercise, many muscle groups are required to perform the action. And um, therefore, it is not an isolation movement like the machine version. It is a compound movement that requires the, the movement of several joints, that is your elbows and your shoulders. And therefore, the muscles that cross these joints are all going to be uh, coming into play. So we are talking about the chest, the lats, the triceps, the serratus. Uh, most of the upper body is recruited. And therefore, when combined with the, with the squat in the 20 rep squat program as an upper body compound motion, um, to complement the compound uh, motion of the squat, you have an incredibly effective program at gaining weight. Um, this is why it was used in combination with the squat in the 20 rep squat program. Now in regards to the performance of this uh, technique, you would lie on a long bench with arms bent and reaching over your heads as shown here by Alan Steffen, who's lying on a longer bench. Now. This is what I would consider a beginner's version. Um, the, the bar is, has not passed the level of your head, as in um, when you look at the horizontal plane. The, the hands are still, when you look at the vertical plane, slightly above your head. And this is a good start for a beginner. I will then go through the um, progression later on for more extreme versions of the pullover. Anyway, having the arms bent and reaching over your head as you bring the barbell over the chest in a circular arc-like fashion, you would take a deep breath. And then once the bar is over your chest, you bring the barbell back over your head and you breathe out. Very, very simple. Now, a more advanced version of this particular exercise is firstly to have the bar resting on the bench. Now you can see that the bar is actually parallel to the uh, head on the horizontal plane. An even further advanced version is to start bringing the uh, elbows and the hands together as shown here again by Alan Stefan doing the close grip pullover exercise. Um, this also allows, once, you, once you've developed the mobility to perform such a motion, which is a bit more extreme than the previous one, it also allows you to handle a lot more heavy weight 
and you can actually start performing cheating, cheat style uh, repetitions with much heavier, heavier weight because you can actually bounce the bar a little bit off the bench, which was performed in the silver era. Now a further progression is having the bar hang over the bench. This now really starts targeting the latissimus even more so because the lats are now completely stretched. Um, the, the triceps are also now um, stretched out and so you, you have greater muscular recruitment with greater range of motion. It just makes sense. And so this is a much more advanced version with, uh, with a requirement of a greater ability to, to move through this range of motion. Um, now this version was also used um, further uh, to perform strength feats as shown in the next slide. Now the bent arm barbell pullover was used as a strength feat because as I mentioned earlier it's a compound exercise and therefore incredible poundages could be moved. Here is a strength feat by a strongman back in the, uh, in the silver or bronze era and you can see you can count the plates yourself he's using 400 pounds using an Olympic bar. I mean that bar is bending and the most extreme version is shown here. The, you have the um, back arched extremely, the elbows are pointing all the way to the ceiling and the guy has the bar on his nose. That is the most extreme version. And the reason why that's done is that it actually shortens the range of motion and you simply um, heave, you really heave the bar onto your chest almost using the power of all your upper body um, as a strength feat. It was an incredible thing to see, I, I can imagine only. Now, speaking of strength feats, I'd like to list um, the bodybuilders who actually used the uh, bent arm barbell pullover in the silver and golden era, just to give you an idea as well as to the kind of poundage these guys used to use. Here we have Alan Steffen, Mr. America of 1946, who routinely used 205 pounds for reps. Um, and he actually started using the bent arm barbell pullover after his idol, Dutch Howlett, a wrestler, um, had developed an incredible upper body as clearly shown in this photo. Um, so he, he, he basically emulated his idol. And I mean, if you start looking at, at, at reading at these um, impressive poundages used, believe it or not, in some cases, some of the silver era bodybuilders used poundages uh, in the bent arm barbell pullover that was heavier than their bench presses. This is how much um, this is how much poundage you can actually use in this compound exercise that isn't performed nowadays. Now here we have a very famous Canadian strongman and silver era bodybuilder called Geoffrey LaRue who actually used about 250 pounds routinely in his uh, bent arm barbell pullover exercise. It was unbelievable. 250 pounds. Wow. Now here is one of my favorite side chest poses from the silver era and I've shown it so many times and I will continue showing it. John Farbotnik, winner of several, several times, several years he won straight the um, best chest award and no wonder, I mean look at that side chest, it is phenomenal, it is unbelievable and of course he routinely used the bent arm barbell pullover. Look at the slabs of chest muscle, the capped delts, the softball biceps, the veiny thick forearms and that deep rib cage. that side chest is epic, epic. Here's another silver era famous bodybuilder George Eiferman who used routinely the bent arm barbell pullover and using phenomenal poundages, 205 pounds as well for 10 reps and check out that rib cage, the thick pectorals, it's all there. Again the bent arm barbell pullover, check these results, it's unbelievable. Now Clarence Ross, otherwise known as Clancy Ross, Mr. America winner of 1945 and um, used the bent arm barbell pullover in a different form. He actually did a, a real compound exercise called the pullover and press where he would actually use routinely 150 pounds for 12 reps, do the bent arm barbell pullover but bring it down to his um, nipple level, so basically the lower ribs, and from there he would actually press the barbell overhead. So he basically combined a bench press with a barbell pullover. Um, it's a double exercise, and of course the, the results are phenomenal. The poundage is respectable, but the results are absolutely phenomenal. Just look for yourself. I mean, look at that side chest pose. It's a it's a very uh, classic side chest pose. Um, 
not not the typical classic side chest post. It's just a classic uh, version of the of the side chest post. Phenomenal, phenomenal development from Clancy Ross. Now I've been talking a lot about the development of the rib cage and the chest muscles due to the use of the bent arm barbell pullover, but I haven't yet mentioned its effect on the lats, on the V taper. Now this is an uh, exercise that was highly recommended for developing the V taper, highly recommended especially by Steve Reeves, who not only developed a wonderful rib cage, a deep wonderful chest, but that V taper that we all know about uh, of Steve Reeves is, is legendary, iconic, as shown in this in this phenomenal photo of Steve Reeves. I think this is the most swole I've ever seen Steve Reeves, who advocated the use of the bent arm barbell pullover. Now another great example from the silver era has to be Marvin Edda, who used the bent arm barbell pullover for a lot of his back work, as clearly shown in this shot. I mean, look, at his, his, it's a seated shot, very classic. But look at that V-taper. Look at that enormous, thick back development. It's it's massive and of course when you hit that side chest you can see the effect that um, the bent out barbell pullover also had on his chest I mean yeah it's just both front and back the bent arm barbell pullover is a phenomenal exercise for the upper body clearly shown here by Marvin Edda I mean that side chest pose that is a side chest pose damn now we, here we have Floyd Page professional Mr. America of 1948 who used a version of the pullover to develop his phenomenal chest, as you can clearly see, rib cage, and lats. Uh, he actually used a dumbbell pullover, and his best efforts were actually um, using two dumbbells, two 150 pound dumbbells to perform a pullover. That's a total of 300 pounds, and a very unstable 300 pounds. Uh, on the pullover. That's incredible. And, and no wonder he could look at the musculature that he developed, those wide lats, that wonderful, deep, thick chest is phenomenal. Now, of course, as we move into the golden era, we can't pass Reg Park. Reg Park was, was a real advocate of the use of the barbell pullover. And we can clearly see the effect that he'd also had on him. I mean, that those lats are just so wide. It's incredible. No wonder when Arnold saw Reg, he was like, Damn, I want to look like Reg. I mean, he had a wide, wide, thick back and a beautiful side chest pose here. Again, thick, thick slabs of pec muscle on that wonderfully expanded ribcage. Reg Park definitely used the bent arm barbell pullover. Finally, we reach Sergio Oliva, who was probably one of the first athletes besides Casey Viator to actually use the Nautilus pullover machine. And um, prior to this, of course, he used the bent arm barbell pullover, but moved on to use the um, Nautilus version created by Arthur Jones. So we've seen a whole slew of si uh, bronze, silver, and um, even golden era bodybuilders who used the bent arm barbell pullover as a means of developing their massive upper bodies. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I hope you can apply the use of the bent arm barbell pullover in your programs. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm. Thank you for watching and leave me your comments. You can support me on PayPal or become a patron on www.patreon.com forward slash Golden Era Bookworm or visit my website for um, old school bronze and silver era courses that are very rare to find and uh, you can purchase them on my website goldenerabookworm.wixsite.com forward slash website. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding.